Hi there, welcome. Uh, hope you all are doing great. Uh, in this lecture, we will try to block all the USB drives with the help of Microsoft Defender. So you need to have the Defender plan uh, license also in order to get this to work. So to configure this policy, it's as simple as that. You just have to go to endpoint security and then you have here attack surface reduction uh, or ASR this is a policy in short you simply click on here create policy and give a name for example I wanted to choose for my Windows 10 or later and if you want you to know, use the same policy even for the servers it works uh, because this is coming from the endpoint security that's from your cloud for uh, defender or endpoint for your defender based license right it's not the intent so you could apply the policy even for servers as well as on workstations and if you have the co-managed devices you still use this configuration we would be definitely using windows 10 or windows 11 or server specific configuration in this demo and click on device controller because you could only if you choose this option only you will have the device control option so device control is nothing but your removable media uh, that can be fully controlled so create a policy and whether you want to in a block or hello it all depends so in my case i wanted to first block so i wanted to block all the usb drives and this is where you have multiple options for example if you are trying to connect some device and you want to install the driver you still have a control on that part like device installation including the driver and removal storage access uh, with WPD uh, like you know Dini or LO defender specific you want to you know, scan before uh, removing or before removal drives to be you know, fully scanned when you, you know connected immediately like that you have you know all these options so now uh, connectivity wise you have uh, all USB connections you want to you know allow or block but this is not uh, what we wanted we wanted something not just Bluetooth or connectivity these are just for the connectivity you see here under device controller you have to give here some I could give here uh, some meaningful name and then if you have already configured your all the devices uh, which can be configured under endpoint security again under attack surface reduction you have a reusable configuration that needs to be configured then these devices will be listed here for example I know from my device manager I have uh, I have here a reusable setting with my device ID information I've taken for example my USB for scan disk example and then in this reusable I would you know configure if a printer or removal storage it is matching to here under instance these are the device ID or maybe hardware ID or friendly name all of these information if you know already given here these information can be reused within this window but we don't have any reused that's fine just in case if you want you to know, block so I'm gonna actually block it so this is for a blocking purpose policy so I'll just give it some name like you know block uh, within this uh, I have to choose do you want to you know Dini or LO so in my case I want to Dini and options uh, that is I wanted to disable all the options and here you could you know uh, can be granted the access for example I want to allow but only limit to some things like you know can be file read cannot write or can execute or read write print these are the additional options also you could configure this is really interesting this is really is gonna work for you and this is an in detail configuration that you could achieve it when you are trying to achieve something that is more explicit configuration you want to you know configure and then this is where the you SID you can you know get it or computer SID so in my case you know if I have a group that can be you know, fully denied or leave it if you don't know that still works for you so simply uh, you know select here to deny everything here access is for 
read write for everything we are denying and then uh, click OK. So we did not configure. If you if you look at here, we did not give computer ID because we don't want more specific. We want in general. We wanted to control based on a group. That is what you could not. Uh, you could you know get it in the assignments. So this is where you could use the assignments to configure that specific group. So let's say I have a group called you know block all USB for my all accounts department. Then I could you know, choose this simply click on next and click on create. This would create the policy. So a small change within this policy um, I did not show you maybe properly because I got little error that is a more specific to the uh, configuration. So if you just go here you cannot use everything here. So you must have to choose you know if you uh, look at read right execute this itself uh, has every every policy you don't need to you know, include everything so if you include everything you might get an error uh, so in my case I've selected only these three uh, that's how it's gonna work it seems to be it got uh, crashed the web page but I should be able to point to the same page and we could review the policy this is how the policy was created for blocking everything let's say if you want to allow uh, as simple as that very similar policy that you could create for the device control but this time we wanted to allow so simply say allow all usb i did not mention here a specific one under entry choose allow operation none so this can be read, write, or execute. So these are the machines like they just want to you know able to print it, but they cannot write or they can read. So these things based on the configuration you could more explicitly configure. Later point assigned to the target group. That way it would get the policy created and you could you know apply it. This is going to work um, as expected. And coming back to the reusable, uh, make sure you know you have to add the reusable and then you could you know recall within these policies if you want to you know more explicitly control some of the specific devices where you have a more data specific policies or or compliance policies are required hope you enjoyed thanks